For years, SpaceX has dominated commercial space transportation. Backed by NASA and led by Elon Musk, the company proved that it was possible to launch rockets and capsules at lower costs and with greater frequency. The Dragon, in particular, became a symbol of travel to the International Space Station, ISS, handling both supply missions and astronaut transport. Despite other initiatives, few have come close to threatening this dominance. Now, however, Nix has emerged, created by the exploration company, aiming to compete with Dragon in the market for access to low Earth orbit. Stay with me as we explore how this new capsule could pose a serious threat to SpaceX's hegemony. The Dragon earned trust after multiple successful missions. Today, it is the leading private vehicle for human and cargo transport to the ISS. However, this concentration worries agencies and companies that don't want to be dependent on a single supplier. If Dragon faces technical problems or delays, various projects are affected. That's why the exploration company is stepping in to offer an alternative, betting on technological partnerships and the concept of modularity for Nix. While SpaceX develops almost everything in-house, the exploration company relies on a network of European and international partners to accelerate the creation of Nix. The initial goal is to have uncrewed versions to carry cargo, validating propulsion, control, and thermal protection system. Only after that will they consider human transport. This path resembles the one Dragon took. First cargo missions, then crewed flights. However, the European company hopes to stand out with its collaborative approach and focus on serving specific niches for scientific experiments. Europe sees in this capsule the chance to gain greater space autonomy. Although it has prominent launchers like Ariane, the continent lacks a crewed spacecraft for its own mission. Relying on external providers is strategically inconvenient. If Nix proves itself, it could mark a turning point, giving the European bloc independent access to the ISS and other orbital initiatives. This vision also involves boosting the local industry, attracting investment, and fostering innovation. For researchers, the plurality of vehicles makes it easier to schedule experiments in microgravity. Universities, laboratories, and biotech companies need to regularly send equipment and samples into orbit. If Dragon is the only option available, any delay or lack of space can lead to losses. Competition brings benefits more frequent flights, lower costs, and greater incentives for creativity. This accelerates scientific discoveries and ultimately yields returns for society. SpaceX, of course, isn't standing still. While Dragon services the ISS, the company is focused on large-scale projects like Starship, designed to take humans to the moon and Mars. If this plan materializes, Dragon may become secondary in terms of technological advancement, but it will remain essential for closer missions. In this scenario, Nix emerges as a competitor in low Earth orbit, ready to share the market for resupply and crew transport. This makes the rivalry even more exciting, as Dragon would no longer be the only reliable private option. The exploration company, however, needs to prove that Nix is safe and profitable. Involving many partners requires absolute coordination. Any failure in a subcontracted component can compromise the entire mission. Moreover, atmospheric re-entry is a ruthless test. The heat shield must work flawlessly, and landing or splashdown systems must ensure the protection of experiments. Only then will official certifications and solid contracts with space agencies follow. The road is long. Each small success builds reputation, while a serious failure could delay the timeline by years. Dragon has even carried tourists into space, signaling the beginning of orbital tourism. If Nix obtains certification for crewed flights, competition will expand that niche. Although still expensive, more vehicles and more providers could progressively reduce the cost of travel, paving the way for a larger market. The scientific side also benefits, as researchers could board mixed missions more frequently. In the long term, this stimulates the entire innovation chain related to space. Another critical factor is funding. SpaceX secured large investments and in government contracts, which fueled Dragon's success. The exploration company, in turn, will need to secure resources in Europe and possibly elsewhere, convincing investors that Nix is a solid project capable of meeting diverse demands. Without capital injections at crucial stages, the development pace may slow, further favoring SpaceX's dominance. Marketing culture is another point of contrast. SpaceX publicizes tests and launches, attracting massive media attention. The exploration company tends to be more discreet, which can make it harder to gain popularity. However, transparency in certain milestones, such as successful test flights, can attract institutional support and spark public curiosity. Showcasing the Nix capsule in action, docking with the ISS or returning safely, 
would be a powerful move, catching attention and generating interest from potential partners. Dragon didn't reach its current status without setbacks. SpaceX faced explosions and delays, but persevered until the vehicle's efficiency was proven. With Nix, the challenge repeats. Every stage must be validated, including pressure tests, docking systems, and life support. Crew safety is the top priority. In this regard, the exploration company relies on Europe's experience in aerospace engineering, but it also faces high expectations. European certification may be even more demanding, which increases the final credibility, though it also requires additional patience. Elon Musk has often expressed the belief that competition drives technological advancement. If Nix becomes operational, there will be pressure on Dragon to maintain competitive prices and tight deadlines. This aligns with a general trend in the sector, which is increasingly contested by private companies, driving scientific discoveries and bold projects. For Europe, it's a historic opportunity to claim a meaningful place in the modern space race. Beyond ISS missions, Nix may target other destinations. Private stations in low Earth orbit have been planned, requiring frequent resupply and transport. If Dragon is saturated or prioritizing specific clients, Nix could serve this market. The project's versatility could also enable flights combining scientific payloads, tourism, and telecom experiments in a single trip. This variety of applications boosts the capsule's appeal provided costs remain viable. The satellite ecosystem also benefits from multiple vehicles. Although Dragon focuses on pressurized cargo, there's nothing preventing the adaptation of solutions for carrying small satellites. Nix could seize this opportunity, offering customized orbital access for smaller scale projects. At the same time, partial reusability is vital. If the exploration company doesn't master rapid repair and refurbishment processes, mission costs could soar. In that regard, SpaceX holds a significant advantage with its landable rockets and proven reuse models. Regardless of the challenges, the arrival of a strong competitor is expected to bring new dynamics to the market. Clients gain bargaining power as they can compare offers from two or more companies. Academic research, the pharmaceutical industry, materials laboratories, and even entertainment sectors benefit from more frequent flights and gradually lower costs. SpaceX itself, when facing competition, tends to innovate even more to avoid losing ground. This virtuous cycle drives the global aerospace sector fueling dreams of colonizing the Moon and Mars. If Nix succeeds, it could inspire other projects, including within a broader European consortium. After all, countries that currently rely on agreements with NASA or Roscosmos would have the chance to fly with a continental provider. This reinforces the notion of technological sovereignty, strengthens supply chains, and creates jobs. In the end, Dragon would no longer be the sole private reference in space transport, and the exploration company would realize its ambition of competing with SpaceX on equal footing, ushering in a new phase of expansion. Another relevant point in this scenario is the growing attention companies and agencies are giving to the sustainability of space missions. With the rise in launches, there's growing concern over pollutants released into the atmosphere, material consumption, in the generation of orbital debris. SpaceX emphasizes rocket reusability to minimize costs in space junk. For Nix to be competitive, it too must incorporate sustainable practices, whether through cleaner fuels or reusable capsules that require fewer repairs. Governments and public opinion are increasingly watching environmental impact, which could favor more responsible solutions. Therefore, the exploration company needs a clear plan for managing waste, emissions, and component disposal. NASA monitors the progress of private projects worldwide to ensure redundancy. Multiple operational capsules accommodate different experiments and schedule. If the exploration company proves its reliability, it could take part in joint initiative, transporting astronauts and supplies in multinational projects. This is valuable for Europe, which aims for a prominent role in global space policy. A successful capsule encourages collaboration, strengthening diplomatic and scientific ties. It's also important to mention the role of social media in consolidating aerospace projects. SpaceX broadcasts, launches, and tests, drawing massive attention. To promote Nix, the exploration company may need to create an exciting narrative, showcasing behind-the-scenes moments in technological progress. The more transparent the process, the more public support is gained, making it easier to secure partnerships and funding. A base of supporters helps legitimize the project as it puts pressure on agencies and funds to invest in innovation. Space tourism, although expensive, could grow with easier access and enhanced safety. Dragon has already taken civilians into orbit. If Nix reaches the same level of reliability, 
It could serve clients seeking unique experiences, whether short duration flights or stays on private stations. This requires emergency protocols, medical support, and meticulous planning. However, every advancement in safety and comfort attracts more people interested in flying. Competition tends to drive costs down, gradually expanding the base of potential passengers. On the technological side, SpaceX controls much of its production chain, while the exploration company integrates systems supplied by partners. This can accelerate development, but demands flawless coordination. If communication fails, timelines suffer. On the other hand, assembling the best from each subsystem could give the project an edge. Elon Musk is focusing Starship on long-distance mission, leaving Dragon for low Earth orbit. If Nix is modular and flexible, it could meet smaller scale demands, servicing private stations, scientific experiments, and varied payloads. The transition to an environment with multiple capsules available changes the research culture. Universities and industries can launch projects in shorter timeframes without depending so heavily on a single schedule. Every success by Nix reinforces the idea that space doesn't belong only to a handful of nations. Dragon opened the door, but other companies can specialize in niche areas. This further diversifies applications, generating advances in pharmacology, telecommunications, and material science. In the end, the Dragon versus Nick's rivalry represents a broader transformation in the space market. Multiple companies compete and collaborate, creating new applications. Dragon proved that private initiatives could lead orbital flights. Nix confirms there is room for innovation, collaborative strategies, and different visions. If both succeed, humanity moves toward broader and more frequent access to the orbital environment. There's also a geopolitical element to consider. The growing competition between economic blocks reinforces each region's interest in having its own access to space. Dragon was primarily developed with U.S. funding, serving NASA and aligned partners. Nix, backed by European incentives, may embody the desire for a spacecraft that serves ESA projects or coalitions of countries that prefer not to depend exclusively on the U.S. to send astronauts and experiments. This logic of self-sufficiency explains why so many governments are exploring investment in national or regional launch systems, viewing private initiatives as a way to avoid monopolization of technology. The space sector moves tens of billions of dollars annually, involving communication satellites, Earth observation, meteorology, research, and, more recently, tourism initiatives. With Dragon firmly established in the market, SpaceX grows stronger and expands projects like the Starlink Constellation. In this scenario, the exploration company sees in Nix the opportunity to attract clients looking for more orbital transport options, whether for cost, convenience, or political alignment reasons. Bringing a capsule to operational maturity is a risky endeavor. SpaceX faced explosions and setbacks, but learned from each misstep. The exploration company will need to show similar resilience, especially during test flights. Repeated success without serious incidents builds reputation and makes it easier to secure contracts. On the other hand, any accident can delay the project indefinitely. Even so, the fact that another company is willing to take on these risks proves that the space market has matured and is no longer limited to just two or three major corporations. Dragon will remain an icon, but Nix brings freshness and diversity to the sector. If Europe embraces the idea and encourages collaboration, the chances increase of seeing another effective capsule in operation. The future of space is likely to involve multiple players, each contributing creative solutions to take humanity ever further. This reaffirms the importance of competition, driving research, and strengthening the global space ecosystem. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.